temperature was the same. Similar, right? It was so nice. <laughs> yeah, and not only the same in Florida and here, but Chicago too. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, heat for sure all across the eastern half of the nation. We've got 90s on the way. They've been dealing with it from Chicago all the way down to Dallas, and that big ridge of hot air is moving east. Mostly sunny skies today. Really gorgeous to look at. If you had to spend a large amount of time out there, it was pretty hot. Uh, thankfully, we haven't had that really dangerous heat and humidity combination. It is a bit muggier since uh, the weekend, but it'll get increasingly humid as we go through the week, but nothing like what we have to deal with in the summer months. Our temps right now are in the 60s, 70s, and even some mid 70s. You've got 76 in Greensboro, 75 in Winston-Salem. We're 71 right now in Galax and in Lexington. High temperature today didn't quite make it to 90, got up to 89 degrees. That 89, though, is one of the hottest days we've had so far this year. Had a couple of 90 degree days. Those took place in the middle part of May. And yes, we are looking at some 90s at the beginning of June. Tomorrow's forecast high is 92 and then 90 on Thursday. You see the records. They are way up there in the upper 90s and even in the triple digits there for Thursday. After Thursday, once the front comes in, we'll look for cooler temperatures to return to our forecast. Also, some more comfortable air. Dew points are going up. Steamy conditions expected for Wednesday and Thursday. Cooler, drier air in the forecast over the weekend. Some of that steam in the atmosphere created just a few showers along the mountain ridges earlier this afternoon. We may see that repeat tomorrow. It's not widespread rain. There could be some rumbles of thunder with that, but that'd probably be the only place where we have any rain. I think it'll stay dry in the triad. The numbers really heat up quickly. Mid 80s by late morning and low 90s tomorrow afternoon with a light breeze, so that's not going to help us much. Got some fog around in the foothills with a forecast high of 91 tomorrow afternoon. And even in the mountains, those temperatures get up there. We're in the mid 80s by late with clouds building and a slight chance for a shower. There's not much rain with this front out to the west, and I don't anticipate that it's going to be a big rain maker for us, but it'll bring us some opportunities for showers. Also a chance that we could have a couple of thunderstorms that may be borderline severe. So we've got a marginal risk out there right now for the mountains and foothills. Main threat would be flooding as well as damaging winds right now. That could change and likely will as we get a little closer to this weather event. For Wednesday, the rain is confined to the mountains and west. Thursday, most of the day is dry. Morning, midday, by afternoon, we start to get some showers into the mountains. And then by evening and overnight and early Friday morning, some showers across the triad. We're drying out on Friday. We're cooling off and we've got a really nice weekend ahead with highs that are in the low 80s. This weekend, we'll also be watching for what is Agatha or the remnants of that Pacific tropical system crossing over Central America and Mexico, possibly becoming a tropical depression on the Atlantic side. And that one has a 70% chance of becoming a tropical system, would likely bring heavy rainfall, gusty winds from Louisiana to Florida. If it does become our first named system in the Atlantic, the first name on our list is Alex. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast where we have got temperatures in the 90s the next two days. Refreshing though by the end of the week and weekend, even some 50s there for Saturday morning. Stay with us, we'll be back with more news and sports coming up.